Hey there guys, now we're looking at using Windows software and using the Smart Recorder in order to make screencasts. And the Smart Recorder is a little bit better than QuickTime because you can actually pause and we'll, we'll look at how that works and that's fantastic. So, you're going to have to open up, <coughs> sorry, you're going to have to open up Smart Recorder uh, first of all. Forgive me, I've got to just turn off my alarm there. There it goes, good. So, to go to Smart Recorder, you click down here and go to the search. I usually find this the best way. Smart, Smart Recorder. There it is. Choose that, and great. There you go. You've got your little, uh, your little pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner there, and there's record, pause, and stop. All you really need, which is great. Okay, so you need a lesson pre-built. So I built a very basic lesson here. So there's, there's my lesson. I'll just. Test lesson, there it is, one, it's got five pages. We're gonna learn about numbers in my lesson there. I'm sure you can learn about something slightly more sophisticated in yours, but it's just a mock lesson, so please don't spend very long building it. We're just using the software. So there's my test lesson, and it's just as simple as clicking on the red button here. Yeah, that's it. Just click on the red button to record. So click, initializing, and we're now recording. So. Hello students, welcome to the lesson. We're going to learn about the lesson. Uh, we're going to learn about the number one and I would like to draw one square. So here's one square and I'll, I'll even fill that square in students. Isn't that great? And the next part of the lesson guys is, is the number two. So we're going to be looking at love hearts in number two. So we'll draw a couple of love hearts and so on. Okay. Now the best thing about this is you can actually pause. So in case you get a little bit flustered, you go, oh gee, I don't know what to say next, or you can't remember what the uh, capital of, uh, of Peru is, uh, you can just pause, so you go to pause. And of course, I'm using a different program to record this, but I'm showing you how the, uh, the smart recorder works. So normally you wouldn't hear me. So you press pause, and so this is your time now. You can go and get a coffee, go and do what you want. Uh, enter something onto the screen, and then come back and record again okay and so there you go you've you've, you've worked out what the the capital of peru is or you've you've you've, you've dealt with the, the phone call that happened or you're able to put a star on the screen or for whatever reason you've been able to pause and start your lesson again very useful the pause button okay so let's just carry on with the lesson and let's assume that you've finished the lesson so then you just go to stop down here stop very simple stop it stopped recording, okay? The lesson's over. You've got to save it now, so I'll just save it anywhere. Let's call it, there it is, July the 1st. Uh, I'm happy to call it that today. I like to save it somewhere specific. I think you guys know uh, how to save things, so I won't give you a lesson on that, so I'm just gonna save it right on the desktop. Save, uh, and it's, it's gonna save it. It doesn't take very long. It makes a video file. 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds. We'll just wait patiently for that to happen. And done. Okay, recording is successful. It asks us if we want to play it. We should remember where we saved it. I know it's on the desktop. Let's have a look at it. Sure, I'm happy to play it. Play recording, sure. Let's have a go. Okay, so that's it now, of course, you've made, oh, I'll just stop that, thanks, sorry guys. Uh, so you've made that fantastic, now we've got to put that onto, on, onto YouTube or, or whatever, however we're going to share it with the students. But that's another project. First of all, we just want to make a successful screencast. Thanks for listening, guys. See you later.